Okay, we also have Fred, Dominique, and Chris here who have received case management from Catholic Charities or in some cases are still receiving case management, so I thought you all could share your stories with the speaker. Chris, and Chris came all the way from Wichita Falls, which is about two That's hours pretty far away. Off. Yes, yeah. it is, yeah. <laughs> Growing up, I had a lot of siblings that were a lot older than me, and I was number 10, so I was next to the youngest. So as everybody started getting older and getting into trouble and doing drugs and not taking care of their kids, I used that as an example of not what I wanted to be when I grew up. And I always knew that I wanted to do, you know, certain things with my life or that I could do certain things, but the way I grew up, I had no way out. And like when I went to go to LVN school, I got turned down from uh, different agencies because I'd already been in the oil field and farming for a while because I'm 32. So when I got out of high school, I couldn't get grants to go to college. So it was just straight to work. So that's what I did. You know, where I grew up, it was straight, you know, farming or oil field work. And that's what I did for a long time. And I just, you know, I guess I had to accept that that's what I had to do. Finally, one day I told my wife, I said, okay, I'm gonna to try to go to nursing school. We don't know how we're gonna pay for it, or what we're gonna do. So I tested in and to my surprise, they said, okay, you're in the first try. So I was like, oh, we gotta pay for this now. So yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. I didn't know I was gonna get in, but we had to try. And from the very get go, Catholic Charities was like, listen, anything you need, whether it be help, I mean, there's even times that we got trouble behind on our mortgage mm -hmm. because I was going to school full time and there was no way I could work because I was so afraid of failing yeah, right. my family that I had to focus solely on my school. So they was anything that I could possibly need. They were always checking on me. They were always calling and saying, hey, do you need tutoring? Do you need this? Is there anything we can help for you? And even when I graduated, uh, I called them and I said, hey guys, I said, I haven't had a check in over a year and I've got a job lined up. Somebody's calling me, but I have no way to buy scrubs or you know there's a certain things I need and they said okay let's go over here and we'll get you some scrubs so I was able to start work that week and I've been a nurse now for about six months that's great and even after that they said listen um, we understand that you're going to be on your feet after you have a nurse or whatever but when you're ready to go back to RN school we're glad to help you that's great there's any I mean anything you could have mentioned they had an emergency fund set up so that I had to drive pretty far because I lived pretty far out in the country to go to where I was going to school at. And there was even an emergency fund if something was to break down on my car or yeah. I needed something. They had that set aside that if that way all angles were covered if I needed help with anything. Like even before I became a nurse, I was working a steady job. You know, you still just work check to check. You have to get up every day and you do your thing. But in the back of your mind, you know, there's certain things you want to do, but there's no way out, per yeah. se. You have to work, you have to take care of your family, you have to pay bills. You may have dreams and aspirations to do other things, but there's just no out. When I first went to go to school, I was told one agency would help me, so that's when I got in. And then after I got accepted to school, they said, oh, you, you have a CDL for working in the oil field, you have marketable skills, we can't help you. Mm -hmm. I was trapped. Mm -hmm. To me, what Catholic Charities and our, my case manager did for me was that feeling that you have an out, the gap you in didn't, division that that's running right. you. You didn't have to settle. No. You you had the the backing support for them to, and that meant more to me than yeah. anything else. Yes, the money, of course, because you have to have that to do it. But knowing that we don't have to settle, yeah. you can do what you need to do. Yeah. Here's here's some help, buddy. That meant more to me and my family than anything. 